Hey y'all, welcome back to 29 Days in Black History, book edition. Today's focus is going to be a book that was adapted into a movie, a very popular movie within the black community. Now I was shocked when I was talking to some people and they did not know that this was a book first. Like, excuse me? How do y'all know it? I mean, I know that I'm a reader, but I thought that everyone knew that this was a book that was, you know, adapted into a movie. I am, and it's by like Terry McMillan. Like, come on now. The Waiting to Exhale. Okay, so before I get into the book, let me go ahead and tell y'all. I saw the movie in its entirety a few years ago. Don't judge me. <laughs> This should surprise no one who knows me because y'all know older movies, I ain't seen them. So yeah, you're gonna have to sit me down, tie me to a sofa and get me to watch some of these movies. But I did love it. And I will say that this soundtrack is, okay, I'm gonna say it with my full chest. This is probably the greatest, or not probably, it is the greatest movie soundtrack of all time. Y'all can go ahead and counter it with your own, but we just gonna go there. But getting back to the book, I just really love, y'all know in the movie, it included the late and great Whitney Houston, Lila Rochon, uh, Loretta Devine, and Angela Bassett. And there were just so many peak moments. But reading about those peak moments in this book, I felt like seeing it on screen, uh, the visual, it really, really touched me. But reading about it, it gave me a completely, an extra feeling, just like books always do, because you know you get um, a little bit more information in the books. So we decided to read it for book club last year. I was unfortunately unable to make that meeting, but I just felt like, obviously this was a coming of age story and being that I'm gonna be 40 soon, I just felt like I really, really needed to read this again to get it, to understand it, because there, again, there were so many parts that were relatable. And I feel like Terry McMillan did such an excellent job of allowing women to truly feel, but to also get the level of sisterhood that was established in this book, that level of community. So yeah, I had to pull this one out because this is a great one. And I think sometimes we just forget that, you know, some of our favorite movies really were amazing books first. So let me know if you have read it and if you watched the movie. And you can also tell me how great the, the soundtrack is because it is bomb. And I will see you tomorrow for the next book. Bye y'all.